The YouTube channels of Iron Mouse from V Soldier have been reinstated after being terminated by YouTube. Hello there, how's it there? I'm Mega Kida there. So obviously most of you will be thinking about that today random chat is about Iron Mouse. Yes and no, technically a bit of Iron Mouse more, but actually more so on the issue that I feel maybe um playing on the back end. So putting everything into simple context, um YouTube channel of Iron Mouse actually got to so-called initially terminated by someone or a third party or whatever uh, which we'll talk about that later but actually more so that her so-called sub channel which is where she kind of upload all the video on demand from her twist site or uh, to to be upload on youtube as a some sort of like archive and that also got banned initially before the main channel got banned and Obviously, well, it caused a lot of mayhem, uh, considering that in order to get unbanned, you have to put up your personal info onto YouTube system before they can appeal, which technically also mean that they are reviewing the document of, of the private document of the content creator to the third party. The only issue on that end is that the third party can also be someone who just want to dodge Iron Mouse along the line, which is that lead to the um speculation that someone want to go on a man manhunt which hunt or whatever hunt you can call it so obviously a lot of people need to understand that youtube so-called they don't really count out and un uh, unwillingly uh terminate a youtube channel it's actually more so that when another youtube channel go and report on copyright strike of copyright claim along the line and Sometime when you reach that three strike immediately, YouTube just the system itself will just send the channel into termination. The only way to appeal against that is actually putting out your information. And for Iron Mouse situation, obviously she doesn't want to release her private information that easily. I mean, like in terms like VTuber, obviously that's one of the reasons. But uh, but actually more so is that it's actually kind of like just willing to give out information to the third party just because they can. So that is really one of the F out system that you two have been ongoing, which I will be talking and discussing a little bit more um later on if you guys are interested. The only issue on overall is that at the very least the lawyer from V Soldier or Iron Mouse had managed to um appeal the right uh, apparently to youtube and get her channel reinstated so in a way we can definitely say is metetashi metetashi a good ending but it's kind of like not a first time a v uh, not a v soldier is um a vtuber being targeted by someone along the line and often more than not the reason when they kind of like pull up is i mean like if if there is like contain like ASMR or music along that line, I can understand that. But it's actually not a first time that someone actually can easily abuse this sort of thing. I mean, like I did a video previously about anyone can abuse YouTube copyright strike system, where it happened to quite a lot of people. It's just that in recent time, VTuber tend to be targeted apparently. I mean, like hell, if I can do a post about someone with the same freaking name yeah i apparently got a stalking hater for who know whatsoever reason to use the same name trying to just get me delete my youtube channel or maybe try to delete my youtube channel but often more than not um it, it didn't work it is i'm actually kind of happy about it a little bit but who knows when he will or she will and not have succeed in the long run the only issue on this whole audio is that it's just crazy how youtube just kind of like can easily outright ban someone without doing investigation on their own i mean like if someone actually did something bad yeah i think it, it they do own the ban but without like just listening to multiple ban and hell that is like if i can show you guys one person with multiple same account hell they even using the same name not hiding at, at this point of time i think it's fair to say that maybe there is someone who is hating on vtubers i'm not saying that that person is targeting iron mouse i'm just referring that i got one hater myself it's just that when you're considering that there are people out there with multiple account willing to go as far to 
report falsely report or copyright strike someone just for their own entertainment or just to fit out their ego it just show how crazy this will be but at the same time because iron mouse and v social decided to say that hey let's not start any mish run the only thing is that the only way to terminate her youtube channel is either by a copyright strike or by false report so obviously when someone did that obviously people are going to speculate who is the one doing it that's the reason why that um there are some people who is willing to go on their rich hunt the only issue is that it's not just only v uh v sojo being targeted at this point of time like considering that uh, like even like a person uh, v v tiller from v Alura, it's, it's like they also get targeted themselves so when you think about it right it's like is it like youtube kind of like going to be harsh on v tube along the line if people start thinking that hey if we if youtube is not a good channel maybe we should go to twitch yeah twitch did the same thing apparently there's a lot of haters of v tube among youtube and twitch at this point of time so I won't bet my money on every part. I mean, this is one of the reasons why um, you either want to go either Twitch or YouTube and go with both just in case one got down, you got another channel back up. So it's really kind of like just show that VTube, apparently that there's a lot of haters on VTube. Hell, if I can get one, I don't see why a lot of people can't. So when you're considering that anyone can just outright misuse the system on youtube itself i think this is where we have to really sit down and ask like where went wrong is it that someone is having like a grudge among the vtuber scene or is it someone is just jealous of the success of vtubing along the line or hell maybe if someone go to the point of saying that hey you know what let's get someone to attack the vtuber along the line hell there is already someone who did that previously in one of my channel that i talk about uh in one of my videos sorry it's important to do proper research which Katelyn's uh Kat Sun actually say that oh I didn't know let's go and attack this go and attack that and then hey they I'm too big to be put a den on a London line like dude it just show that if someone can go as far to start attacking someone or putting out false narrative against VTuber it just to show that hey it's really insane that how many haters are there in on youtube channel on twitch channel hell even like even people tell us like hey there is kick yeah i won't be surprised if there is kick having vtuber haters so at all in all i don't think it's right for me to say that hey um do you need to improve or not i mean like they have been actually uploading a new um a new stuff apparently about how they're going to do more improvement on youtube on um i will put up the blog to that if you guys are interested to know more about it but um simple in point i just definitely just saying that youtube is just trying to so-called cater to content creator and trying to improve on youtube but i personally think that youtube still need to address about the um easily termination of a channel that belong to a VTuber. I mean, I'm not saying that VTuber are easily targeted. Apparently, it's just that YouTube algorithm or the system itself seems to be targeting VTuber along the line. It's it's weird in a way, considering that anyone can just get uh abuse the system or falsely report someone without YouTube taking a look at the proper system itself and then end up banning someone else. I mean, like hell, my channel is not even YouTube partner at this point of time yet, so considering that anyone can just falsely report me and get my channel take down even if i do kind of like appeal to it i have to like risk, risk uh, putting on my information to a third party as well as that youtube may not even listen to me in the first place because i'm just a uh, no i'm not even youtube partners nor am i a huge vtuber so it's really kind of like in the world bad for many people including myself but it's just to show that hey if it can happen to a big channel i don't see that not happening to a smaller channel the only thing is that the only like the only way i can defend youtube at this point of time is that i have seen improvement on youtube for streamer over the years hell i have like gotten quite a lot of improvement on my live stream as well as that i'm also having like received and feedback or suggestion from team youtube on how to go against those kind of haters well it's best that for me to report these kind of people to youtube to prevent uh mis misuse of 
this and hopefully that YouTube can take action on this sort of thing. But the only thing is that stopping someone once doesn't mean that it's stopping the whole people. You need to understand that, uh, especially if you're YouTube and you're listening, is that stopping one little hole doesn't mean you're stopping a lot of different holes. There is so many things that you have to understand that is probably just not one haters, not two haters of YouTube, but millions probably. So the only thing I can definitely say about this whole audio is that YouTube, while it's uh, uh, very good on them to improve on the system itself, as well as to congratulations to Iron Mouse on having her channel being reinstated, both of them. The only thing I feel at the end of the day is that YouTube need to improve on the um, system to prevent VTuber from easily being targeted by haters or falsely reported. As I mean, like it's already kind of like having one case, two case is like, yeah, I can understand. Maybe it's just a rare incident, but anyone can, being can take it off the platform when it's their rice boy at that point as well as that trying to build back from scratch is not going to be easy task. Hell, it took me quite a long while to reach to this point. So if my channel get taken down, it's, it's, it's going to be a, uh, a slap in my face with a huge cannon to my stomach. So it, it, it's really just, I wish that you two can re, uh, re, kind of like revet the system itself to kind of like not saying that they have to protect every single VTuber. If a VTuber mess up, they have to face the punishment. I agree with that. But when it comes to the whole audio of that, if someone falsely we uh, use the system to do mass report or kind of like falsely do some sort of like copyright claim or copyright strike, then I think YouTube definitely need to take a look at the system itself because it's in the first time it's not i don't think it's gonna be uh the last as well so basically at the end of the day uh, um i just hope that youtube can improve on the system on that end not just improvement on future end but hey that is just my speculative thought just a random chat if you disagree disagree uh, or having your own opinion your own take or your own view just write in the comment section we can discuss it further if not don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I talk about stuff that sometimes makes sense, doesn't make sense, or doesn't, well, doesn't even follow a single trend. But the one thing that I can definitely make sure is I hope you guys have a nice day. All night. Bye.